31, it's Jonathan Bradshaw. Brian Vaness rolls off 15th. He hails from Warwick, Rhode Island, driving that white number seven. Outside of him, out of one socket, Rhode Island, in the G-Lopes construction car number one, it's Manny Dias. 17th on the field, out of Rainham, Mass. Car number 27, it's Linda Henshaw. Outside of Linda, out of New Bedford, Mass. Car number seven, 70, it's Lenny Guy. Starting 19th on the field, Tiverton, Rhode Island, Steve Perry in the number 60. Outside of Steve, out of Midway, Mass. Car number 33, it's Steve Norton. Derek Robertson drives the number 20. He'll start 21st. He hails from Chapachet, Rhode Island. Outside of him, out of West Warwick, Rhode Island. In the Express Embroidery, Family Collision, car number 65, it's Bob Broder. It's Dane Saratelli in the car number 29 and starting scratch and the number 43 the whitewater seafood entry it's jessica manchester well this is the junior division this is where you start four cylinder cars rabbits shirakos escorts pintos renaults chevettes a few dodge chargers up in the front a few ford mustangs this is where you start, though, ladies and gentlemen. This is the rookie division. Steve Fernandes on the pole. Mike Chatterley on the outside. <laughs> Looking for the green this time by Eddie Moran. Waiting for them to hit the stripe. The green flag is out, and the Formula 4s are underway. Steve Fernandes gets the jump, but Mike Chatterley comes right to the outside. Did Ryan. And Lance Camber tried to get rail to the back. There goes Chatterley down the back stretch. He legs it out around him. Ned Ryan as well trying to get around Fernandes. Off the turn for a three wide for that second position. Fernandes trying to hold on. Look at the 11. Almost some contact. And he goes, wow, able to hold on to that number 11 as he goes around the track. Here comes the 10 of Lee Hayes. Hayes goes to the bottom side, locks the brakes. He, get, he continues to run. Alongside of Hayes, here comes Brian Vincent. Going to the Scoot Springs, car number 10 of the eight. They begin to run up on each other. The 37 as well. Now runs it. And a Mike Broda. Contact is made between the 86 and the seven. Brian Vaness had made contact with Billy Caswell. Caswell went to the infield. But S continues. Well, as the front of the field is all packed up in a bunch, two wide, two cars have made their way into the third groove and started passing cars wholesale. Vincent and Ryan Vaness get together. Vaness does a little more four by four action off that corner. But one car, two cars that have made their way through the pack quickly is Ron Castle in the orange zero and the red 88 of Billy Prisco as they go through three and four. Well, Lee Hayes picks up where he left off at the end of last year out in front. He was the winner of the D. Anthony Vendetti Boreal race at the end of the year. Out in front, though, now with the Scoot Sprague number 10. It's second is the zero of Ron Castro. Castro begins to play chase after Lee Hayes, but he's got a long way to go. Mike Broda brings the 37 up to the third spot. Here comes Ned Ryan trying to get back underneath. But look, at, uh, look out, here comes the uh, number 88 of Slick, Billy Prisco, the former tr the track champion, as they come down for the halfway mark. Lee Hayes continues to set the pace, about a 15 car length lead over Ron Castro, Junior Castro, uh, trying to close 
close the gap, but will he run out of time before hit? Brodeur on the number 37, the blue and yellow machine sits third. Ned Ryan, new colors for him, and the red number 21 is fourth. But look at Frisco, work the high side as he tries to get by. Three wide action, deep in the pack. Vidas, the 0-3 of Fitzgerald, and the 8 of Vincent as Vincent goes around in turn number one. Yellow is out. Brian Vincent went around, as did the number 33. Steve Norton, both of these cars went around. Norton's got his car fired up. Waited now to see if the eight of Brian Vincent can get his running. At the time, Bobby Broda just went down a lap to Lee Hayes in the Express and Broda 65. Well, it's not ready board. Looks him over one more time. Lee Hayes, Ronnie Castro, Mike Broda. Ned Ryan, Billy Prisco, Lance Canberra. Green is out, and right away, Lee Hayes gets the Gary Street Rod number 10 out in front, but here comes Mike Broder in the 37. Well, Hayes remembers what happened on the last restart where Castle was able to mount a serious challenge, but this time he got the jump. Prisco looks down low over Broder off at turn four. If anybody, I believe, is going to go after Leah, Leon Hayes, it's going to be Billy Prisco in the Jerry, in the Jerry Mathis built number 88. A lot of steam underneath the hood of that number 88 as he starts to close the gap. Brodeur right back on the back bumper. This time by, it's five to go. Ten laps down, five to go for Slick Billy Prisco trying to catch the 10 of Lee Hayes. All week, all, all month when we had the Saturday practices, Billy Prisco was the fastest car in the Formula 4s. Now he begins to mount a challenge as he starts to try to reel in the back of Leon Hayes. Hayes really has the Tiffany Auto Parts 10 hooked up, but here comes the Phil's Propane number 88 of Slick Billy Prisco. Prisco now contact is made around, goes to 31 to Jonathan Bradshaw. Oh, head on, and head on Chatterley. Mike Chatterley in the yellow number 11 with nowhere to go. Head on into the 31 of Lee Hayes, and that has got to hurt. Well, obviously that's radiators going in both cars. You see the water trickling down. It's gonna take a little bit to clean this up, but Jonathan Bradshaw got turned around or turned himself around in front of the field. It no way to go, Mike Chatterley just drove in headlong, hard on the brakes, but at that point you were already committed and it was a head-on shot to both cars. So we'll see if the drivers are okay. I can see Mike Chatterley moving around in that number 11. He's climbing out. He's okay. Jonathan Bradshaw, I think I see him moving around, but the driver's net is still up. And, uh, well, it's not like Winston Cup where you put your window net down if you're fine. And they are, but they are checking on him to make sure he is okay. There looks looks like they're going to hook up the cars. So Jonathan's okay. He just wants to sit in the car, strapped well, in. Mike Chatterley is a little upset. He's fine-tuning his car with his foot. So he's not happy with what has happened. He had a pretty decent run going, starting up front after having some earlier problems. He was starting to make his way back to the front. So Mike Chatterley's car will end up on the hook as well as Jonathan Bradshaw. It's a tough first week for these two drivers. Just about be ready as the cars run through the speedy drive, trying to brush it around, get it out of their racing groove. You know, don't count out the number 37 of Bob Brodeur. Mike Brodeur, rather, to get the brothers confused sometimes. As anything happens between the top two, he can uh, mount a series challenge. Green is out, we're back underway. Frisco gets the jump on the outside of Lee Hayes. Hayes tries to drive it through. Side by side, two Volkswagen Rabbits. Here goes Frisco down the back stretch. Hayes tries to run him up. They're side by side at the three and four. This time by, it's gonna be Leon Hayes back to the line, Billy Frisco. Now settled to the second, looks to the bottom side. Here comes Mike Broder down with the 37. I don't believe Crisco has anything left for Leon Hayes. Hayes out in front with two to go. Well, Hayes just up a little bit off a of turn four. Crisco looks down low, couldn't get it done that time as Hayes was able to shut the door. Now he takes another look off at turn number two. Can he do anything? He lost about two car lengths down the back straight away. Leon Hayes, very smooth out of three and four. White flag is out this time by. Hayes with the airport auto body, number 10, the Scoot Spray go to number 10. Runs it down the back straight, Billy Crisco, one last charge, he has nothing as he drives to three and four. This time by, his hand in the air, liquid Leon Hayes picks up the weight of the Formula Fours. Second is Prisco Castro, Rhoda and Ned Ryan. I believe Manny Dias next at the line. 
There you have it. That's the final feature of it. Leon Hayes picking up where he left off last year in the D. Anthony Vendetti Memorial Race. Picking up the win of the Gary's Street and Trail Sprague's Auto Repair, Tivin and Auto Pots, number 10. Right here on the roof, there's this big tall drink of water. Leon Hayes. Leon, you want that? Handshake. Hey, that was a pretty good job. You had a track champion in 1998. Billy Prisco yep. trying to eat up your tail all the way to that finish line. That had to be uh, a little bit hairy. And that last push you come out, I saw Billy and I said, oh, he's been fasting to me so far, warm and heat and whatnot. I said, oh, I'm all done, but I just drove for all it had. Yeah, uh, well, no once you get to the front, you can claim a little bit of ownership, huh? Yeah, I just got to thank all my sponsors. Springs Auto Repair, Gary Street Trail, Tim and Auto Plots, uh, Rayline Racing, all the guys from Vinny's crew have helped me out, Scoots, Brian, everybody that's just helped me out. I mean, it's just been... I couldn't ask for it, you know, but friends and everything else, you know. It's three in a row for me. Well, I'll tell you, that's going to feel good to uh, finish it last year with two and then coming back here and picking up your first one. Yeah, well, as long as it doesn't happen, like, two years ago, I, I won open night, and after that, it was all downhill. So let's just keep... Well, don't, let's, let's not even talk about two years ago because there was an awful lot of shredded metal in, and now we're going to be getting you to the uh, to the uh, victory lane a few more times, I, I imagine. It's in your head that way. I certainly hope so. I was a rookie two years ago. I did a lot of mistakes. I learned a lot, a real lot, and we're going to take it from here. Well, I'll tell you, it's not bad uh, for your junior season here. And season next year or maybe on to uh, uh, bigger division but right now you can bask in the glory of opening day win that's a good feeling right. this year, I'm just next year I'm we'll see what well congratulations again Lee and there you go folks Gary's Street and Trail Sprague's Auto Repair, Tivin and Auto Pots, number 10. Mike Broda coming down to congratulate him. Scoot Sprague and the Red Line Racing guys have picked up a win here in the, here in the Formula 4 division. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you all.